guys, what's up? It's Colton Lindsay right here live inside of the WGR Academy Facebook group. Appreciate y'all first and foremost for being a part of here. If you're watching live, drop an L. If you're a replay or drop an R. How would you like to be even more productive, make even more money as we wrap up 2018 and we move into 2019? I want you to notice this. I sent out a message today to the Prospecting Alliance. If you're not already in that, go to prospectingalliance.com, get started. Um, but I sent a message out to them today that was talking about what we do between now and the end of the year creates our first quarter. Today is week number 42 in the year. That means we got 10 weeks left. How many? 10 weeks to go. We've got to understand we're going to take some time off for Halloween. I don't know why that happens, but people do. We get distracted with Halloween. We're going to take time off when it comes to, to Thanksgiving. We're going to take time off for Christmas. We're going to take time off for New Year's. So we're lucky if we got a good six or seven weeks left in us. Am I right? So what are we going to do between now and then? And I give you three strategies, three things that you, if you focus on between now and the end of the year, I promise you, you'll set your first quarter up to be amazing. I want to dispel some, some limiting beliefs right now. Limiting beliefs are the market shifting. Now, the belief isn't that the market shifting is the limiting part. It's how we react to the market shifting that is limiting agents. And what we have to be able to do is crush that fear and the only way to crush and suffocate fear is through massive action so step number one is you gotta ex be extremely clear on your schedule between now and the end of the year what is your time on and what is your time off and when it is your time on what are you going to be doing to be extremely productive What's your prospecting hours? What's your appointment hours? What's your uh, practicing your skills and, and presentation hours and your, your prospecting? What are you going to do to be creating value for your network? Be extremely clear on your schedule between now and the end of the year. Step number two is prospect and network a minimum of 15 hours every single week no matter what because between now and the end of the year it's going to get extremely busy. But make sure you're doing this part and just to, to, to make sure we're clear on prospecting. It's not just calling fizzles and expires, although that's really important. Important. It's also talking to your past clients, talking to your sphere of influence, talking to your people farm, talking to your leads over and over and over again. Making sure that you're actually networking with them and having conversations. And then the third thing that you got to do to make sure that you just crush it to set yourself up for first quarter is close every opportunity three to five times, especially right now because you're going to hear the spring objective or objection quite a bit. You know that the market's shifting, you know the interest rates are going up, people feel the fear, and so you've got to close even more. You've got to give that call to action even more. So on a prospecting call with a live lead, close at least three to five times to set the appointment. When you're on a listing presentation or buyer presentation, close at least three to five times to get the contract signed. If you do these three things, I can promise you this, you're going to have a fantastic end of the year and as the market shifts here we are me and my team having probably the biggest fourth quarter I've had in a long time over the last several years and I've done well the last several years so even though the market shifting doesn't mean that you can't finish out strong but what I want you to do is start the year out strong too and however you finish the year will determine how you start the year in 2019 so do those three things just to recap clear on your schedule number two prospect minimum 15 hours a week and then number three close three to five times every time you have the opportunity to to set the point between now and the end of the year. Make sure to go to prospectingalliance.com. Couple of updates. Uh, November 12th and 13th, we're going to be have the prospecting virtual uh, prospecting summit. You can do it live in person or the virtual summit. I'll drop a link in the comments down below, or you can reach out to me and ask questions about that. My friend Brian Cassell is going to be there. He's going to be one of the lead trainers at the event, talking about how to get business today and long term, and dealing with the shifting market. We're going to be focusing a lot on the psychology behind it. Okay. Also, I just want to let you guys know, if anyone wants a free breakthrough call with me or my team, send me a message, reach out to us, it's be about 15 to 20 minutes long, and we want to help you have a breakthrough when it comes to your prospect and creating your network and growing your business. So just send us a message or put a B in the comments down below. All right, we'll see you later.